Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Good Things to Eat, as suggested by Rufus of 1911, we're going to be making the banana sandwich. Now, Rufus is Rufus Estes. He was born in 1857. Uh, he was born into uh, slavery, but he then worked his way up, learned to read and write, uh, got jobs in restaurants, eventually making his way to the Pullman Railroad Car Company, where he managed very schmancy, fancy private dining cars, including one for Grover Cleveland. He's among the first African Americans to publish a cookbook as well. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is peel a banana. And yes, uh, back in the day, these would have been Gros Michel bananas, which are a little bit sweeter, a little bit more banana-y. I did a series of videos featuring Gros Michel bananas a couple of years ago. But they're kind of spendy, so I'm gonna go with the Cavendish for now. Now we take off the fibrous parts. We cut that into quarters. Now it says to put it through a ricer. I don't have a ricer, but I've got a food mill and it does pretty much the same thing. Now we season with a little salt, nutmeg, and lemon juice. Stir that together and put it away to get very cold. Next, we remove the crust from the thinly sliced bread. Now we sweeten a little bit of thick cream. Does not say how much on any of this. And then we put that onto our bread. Now we put on our banana puree. Now it says to keep this very cold until serving time. Not sure when that'll be. Okay, let's give this chilled banana sandwich a go. That's pretty delightful. It's cool, it's refreshing. The sweetened cream is just a nice level of uh, richness. The banana with the nutmeg and the lemon juice is just really delicious. This is really tasty. I kind of want to try two different plus ups on this. On one, I'm going to grate a little dark chocolate and on the other, walnut. Okay, let's give this banana sandwich that's been plussed up with walnuts and apparently chocolate a go. Banana and walnuts, classic combo. All right, let's give this banana sandwich plussed up with uh, shaved dark chocolate a go. Another classic combo. The original banana sandwich was a bit of a process, but it was actually quite refreshing to eat the sandwich that had been chilled for a while. Um, I'm going to give that, as a dessert sandwich or a tea sandwich, I'm probably going to give that about a seven and a half. The nutmeg, the lemon juice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sweetness from the cr uh, sweetened cream. That was really good. Plussed up with the walnuts, eight. Plussed up with the dark chocolate, nine. Plussed up with the walnuts and the dark chocolate, nine and a half. As a tea sandwich, as a dessert, as a snack, uh, that flavor combination just cannot be beat. Chocolate, walnuts, banana, a little lemon, a little nutmeg, mm, so good. I would say I was gonna finish that, but um, I just did. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.